friends, welcome back to Mercy Hill Kids. We are so excited to be worshiping with you guys on this very special day. Spe special day? Oh, that's yep. right, it's National Pizza Day. I'm gonna get 10 pizzas tonight to celebrate. No. I can't wait. Austin, oh, it's man. Easter. What? Did somebody say Easter? Is that Slimy Stew? Uh, is that Stinky Pete? No, I, I think it's just Jeremy in an Easter what, bunny costume. What are you doing? Well, I know today is Easter. So I figured I would come on and tell everyone why we celebrate Easter. Okay, that's actually a great idea. So yeah, tell us, what is Easter about? Well, for one thing, I get to go on an Easter egg hunt and all of those Easter eggs are filled with candy. Oh. And I also get to eat tons of chocolate and my favorite is those little chocolate bunnies. Uh, okay. okay, anything else? Oh, and then I get to go to the Easter parade and there's uh, the bunny there and uh, there's more music and more candy oh. and- Oh, uh, okay, well, Jeremy, hold up. That, that's not a, that's a lot of fun stuff, but that's mm -hmm. not what Easter is all about. Hmm? Yeah, Jeremy, Easter is about celebrating the fact that Jesus died on the cross for us, that he mm. took the punishment for all of our sin and mistakes and that three days later he came back from the dead. Exactly, and when he raised uh, from the dead, he gave all believers hope in him that we could live eternally with Jesus forever. Oh, okay. Well, I get it now. Man, that's definitely something worth celebrating. Yeah, so um, Mr. Bunny, mm -hmm. sir, while you are still here, do you maybe wanna help us with our core values? Yeah, sure, why not? All right, well, our first core value is Uh, well, I don't know if I can help. I, oh. I, I don't know them. Okay. Uh, okay. Well. well, why don't you just hop on over to Easter egg hunt of yours, and uh, we'll take care of the rest. Yeah. Okay. So to answer your first question, Austin, our first core value is to love Jesus. Exactly. We love Jesus because he first loved us and, and wants us to love him and others. Our second core value is to stay safe. And like we said before, we can stay safe by not jumping on the couch and not jumping on the roof. And making sure we pay attention when our friend does a trust fall. Yeah, we know, that too. Moving on, our third and core, final core value is, we'll say it all together, ready? One, One two, two, three, three. Have, have fun. fun. We're gonna have so much fun today, but do you know what is the most fun, Rachel? What is that, Austin? Doing another challenge. Ooh, Can't what wait. should we do today? Well, hmm. huh. Oh, I got it. Okay. What you you got? go first. Well, I think that we should do an Easter egg hunt. Ooh, I love it. Okay. Well, at least the idea. I think our bunny friend had a good idea going for him. Mm -hmm. All right, so instead of finding Easter eggs, how about we find our favorite things? Ooh, okay. Hmm. So one of my favorite things is flowers. Okay. One of my favorite things is the color green, so maybe something green. Okay, so how about everybody? Oh, oh, oh. also, everyone loves candy. True. Let's find some okay. candy. Okay, so how about everyone has to go find something green. Okay something that has flowers on All it, right. and some chocolate or candy. Mm, and if you good. can find an Easter egg, yeah. that is a bonus. Yeah. And parents, remember, when the screen, next screen pop, pops up, to pause the video until everyone has done the challenge. If you want, you can split up the items among all the kids or everyone and just bring one of everything to the screen. All right, so guys, good luck and have fun. Jeremy, what are you doing back here? <laughs> well, you told me to go on an Easter egg hunt, so I did. Okay, well, good job. You found some Easter eggs, a mm -hmm. lot, actually. So, mm -hmm. that's pretty good. How did everybody else do on the Easter egg challenge? Well, I found uh, some green things, um, but I ate all my candy. Mm. And you're so. missing a flower. Yeah. Mm. I found something yeah, green enough. and, um, yeah, some candy, too. <laughs> awesome. Well, hey guys, let's head over to worship. I know I could use some exercise uh, after eating all this candy. For sure. Mm. Let's do it. So on the count of three, ready? One, One two, two, three. three. Hit, Hit it, it Aaron and Sarah. Sarah. In my wrestling and 
in my doubts, in my failures, you won't walk out. Your great love will lead me through. You are the peace in my troubled sea. Whoa, you are the peace in my troubled sea. In the silence, you won't let go. In the questions, your truth will hold. Your great love will lead me through. You are the peace in my troubled sea. Whoa, you are the peace in my troubled sea. My lighthouse, my lighthouse, shining in the darkness. I will follow you. My lighthouse, my lighthouse, I will trust the promise. You will carry me safe to shore.
cross The Father loved us so, so much That when we did our very worst Jesus gave his very best And he died for all of us This is the story of the cross That we were broken, we were lost so then you built a bridge to us Took our hand, led us across Oh, I'll never know the cost If I said thank you a million times It's not enough But I'll sing praises for all my life Cause I'm in love the story of the cross The Father loved the soul so much That when we did our very worst Jesus gave his very best And he died for all of us Thanks for worshipping with us guys and Happy Easter! Happy Easter! And it's now time for our big picture question. question. We've been talking about the question, was Jesus God or human? And the answer is that Jesus is both fully human and fully God. You're right. When Jesus died on the cross for our sins, he physically died and proved that he was fully human. But then he also proved that he was fully God because he raised from the dead three days later, showing that he was perfect and that's why he took our sin on the cross for us. And that's what we celebrate today and that's why Easter is so special. And that's all shown in our key, key passage. passage. Let's see if we can say it all together. John 1, 1 through 2. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was with God in the beginning. That was so great, you guys. They've got it down. I do. I think we could make it longer. How do we do that? By going in slow motion. Oh. How's that? I like it. Like, Good. Ready? OK. Ready? One, One two, two, three. John, John one. 
one through two. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was with God in the beginning. That was, that was slow. It, I like that. That was, you know, I like things to be a little faster oh. sometimes. Okay. And you know, you know those commercials, and at the end of the commercial, the guy talks really, really fast. Yeah, and he's like, <laughs> yeah, like that. Yeah, okay. Do you think we can say our verse that fast? We can try. I'm ready to try. You ready? <clears throat> One, two, three, John, John one, one, one through two. two. In, in the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, God. and the Word was God. God. He, he was, was with God, God in the beginning. Whew, that was it, God. Mm, that was, was so fast. good. Did you, hey, did guys, you know that fast? That was pretty good. We are so excited to celebrate Easter with you today. Check out this amazing story. After Jesus was arrested, he was led to the high priest. The religious leaders were trying to find a reason to kill Jesus, but they could not. The high priest asked, are you the Messiah, the Son of God? Jesus replied, yes, that's right. The high priest said, he has spoken against God, he deserves to die. The religious leaders refused to believe that Jesus was God's son. In the morning, the religious leaders led Jesus to Pilate, the governor. Are you the king of the Jews? Pilate asked. Yes, that's right, Jesus replied. What should I do with Jesus? Pilate asked the crowd. Crucify him, they answered. Pilate did not think Jesus had done anything wrong, but he handed Jesus over and said, do whatever you want. The governor's soldiers put a scarlet robe on Jesus. They made a crown of thorns and put it on his head. Then they mocked him. Here is the king of the Jews. They beat Jesus and led him away to be killed. The soldiers nailed Jesus to a cross. They put a sign above his head that said, this is Jesus, the king of the Jews. Two criminals were crucified next to him. Darkness covered the land. Jesus cried out, my God, my God. Why have you forsaken me? Jesus shouted again and then he died. Suddenly, the curtain in the temple sanctuary split in two from top to bottom and there was an earthquake. One of the men guarding Jesus' body said, this man really was God's son. Jesus was buried in a tomb. A stone was sealed in front of the tomb so that no one could steal Jesus' body. On the third day, Mary Magdalene and the other Mary went to the tomb. Suddenly, there was an earthquake. An angel of the Lord rolled back the stone and sat on it. The guards were so afraid that they fainted. The angel spoke to the woman, Don't be afraid. I know you are looking for Jesus. He is not here. He has risen just like he said he would. The women left the tomb quickly. They ran to tell the disciples the good news. Just then, Jesus greeted them. The women worshiped him. Don't be afraid, Jesus told them. Tell my followers to go to Galilee. They will see me there. Jesus appeared to Peter and then to the other disciples. Jesus also appeared to more than 500 people who followed him. Many people witnessed that Jesus is alive. Jesus' death and resurrection is the center of the gospel. In Adam, we were spiritually dead in sin, but Jesus died to pay for our sins. Jesus is alive. God gives new life to everyone who trusts in Jesus. Hey families, my name is Megan, and we're so glad that you're with us this weekend. Um, Brant, what are you doing? Well, someone told me I could lick my elbow. I've been trying for a while, but I, I haven't been able to do it. I, I really don't think it's possible to do that. It, it just, it can't be impossible. You know... Man. Oh well. I guess I can't do it. I guess it really is impossible. Well, Brant, there are lots of things that are impossible for us to do. 
Can you think of anything that's impossible for you to do? What about you, Brant? Can you think of things that you can't do? You know, I can't fly. I tried, it, it, didn't, it didn't work out very well. And I can't like hold my breath underwater and, and I can't swim for like an hour. I did 45 minutes, but, but finally I, I just, I, I gave up. But you know, there was, I, I, can't, I can't run as fast as a cheetah, but it was a pretty good race. It really was. Um, Wish so, yeah. I could have seen it. <laughs> yeah, it was, it was an incredible race, but he ended up winning. I, you know, I guess there are things that are impossible. Exactly. There are so many things that we can't do, things that are impossible for us. You know what else was impossible for us? What's that? It was impossible for us to have a relationship with God because of our sin, because of the ways that we choose what we want instead of what God says is best. We're all guilty of sin, and that sin separates us from God. Megan, that's a, a really good point. You know, they, they say that, that God and the, and the Word says that He is holy, that, you know, He has never sinned and that He doesn't allow sin in His presence. And, you know, I, I've sinned a lot and, and we're all guilty of sin. And instead of being in a lo loving relationship with God, be, because of our sin, we are separated from Him. We're kept away from Him and we can't earn a relationship with God. We could work really hard, but, but we're still sinners. And, that means it's impossible to have a relationship with God on our own. But that's really terrible news. It is, but you know what? Easter, it is such good news because we know that God sent his only son, Jesus, to live the life that we couldn't live, to be perfect without any sin at all, and to take our punishment on the cross. He took our punishment so we wouldn't have to. Wow, I mean, you know, that's true because God's word, it says that Jesus became sin for us. That really the whole point of him coming to earth was that he would die in our place. That he would come and he would take all of the punishment, all of the penalty that we deserve because of our sin. And then he would step onto that cross and he would die in our place. Take it all on himself to pay for it for us because we couldn't pay for it for ourselves. And we can know that Jesus paid what we owe in full because God raised him from the dead. When we put our trust in him, our sins are forgiven and we're accepted as his children, as his sons and daughters. Wow, I mean, those are amazing truths. I mean, that's really what we celebrate at Easter is the raising of Jesus, how he rose from the grave and we have life because of him. You know, those are some amazing truths from God's word, and we want to give your family time to talk about that, time to discuss it together. Some questions are going to come up on the screen, and we want to encourage you and your family to talk about them together. And maybe today is a, a day that you want to talk about your relationship with Christ and, and what that looks like. Parents, we want to let you know we have a resource on our Family Resource Center, and the link will come up on the screen, that you can download our Gospel Conversation Guide. Maybe your kid is asking questions about what it means for them to have a relationship with Jesus. We've got a guide for you put together for you to be able to walk through that conversation with your kids. So parents, kids, we wanna give you guys a few minutes to have some great conversations. Pause it when the, uh, when the slide comes up and we'll see you in just a few minutes. We hope you guys had wonderful conversations as a family. Maybe some of you even made a decision to place faith in Christ. If that's the case, please be sure to reach out to us and let us know so that we can celebrate and pray with you. Maybe as you heard about what Jesus has done for us in the gospel and how he has saved us out of sin and into a relationship uh, with him, maybe that made you so excited about what Jesus has done that you want to share it with the people around you. You know, that's what Jesus has actually told us to do, is to share the good news. One way that we share the good news around us in our community is by partnering with organizations that are meeting people's needs in our communities. Uh, one of those organizations is A Simple Gesture. A Simple Gesture has partnered with Guilford County Schools to help deliver meals to families and kids in need. What an awesome way to help our families in our community. A simple gesture is asked that we would partner with them um, as they are praying for communities or for uh, families in our community to be able to get the food that they need. And ways that we can do that are by donating food and delivering food. Uh, and so there's ways to partner in all kinds of different ways 
with our community by going to nomorespectators.com. Uh, ask your parents to check that out and see how your family can be involved in serving our community during this season. Let's take a second and let's pray for a simple gesture and the other community partners that we have as they meet needs across the triad. Let's pray. Father, we thank you so much that you are a God that loves us, that you are a God that hears us. Father, we thank you that as we celebrate on Easter that you are a God that is alive, that you have sent Jesus and Jesus has paid for every one of our sins on the cross, that we would have life in you simply by trusting in Jesus. God, we pray that kids all over the triad today would trust in you. And Father, we pray that we would do well in living that out in our community by going and being a part of community ministries and being the church around the triad. And we pray for places like a simple gesture uh, as they meet physical needs. We pray for the families in our community to have what they need. And Father, we pray that you would use us as the church to make that happen. Father, we pray all of these things in Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Hey, Brant. What's up? I've got a question for you. When you have really great news, do you keep it to yourself? That would be absolutely crazy. Of course I wouldn't keep it to myself. Well, we learned today in our Bible lesson that Jesus' death and resurrection is the most important thing that has ever happened. When we turn away from our sin and turn to Jesus and put our trust in him, we have hope and new life. Through Jesus, we have life with God forever. That really is the best news ever. There's nothing better that we can celebrate than what Jesus has done for us in the cross and in his resurrection. And we've got a resource that we've been practicing for a few weeks now, kids, and we think that some of you may have this down. And so maybe this is a good challenge for you, but it's a resource put together to be able to share the gospel using hand motions. This is something that you may want to do with your friends, with your family members, and maybe something that you want to do with other people that you know around your neighborhood uh, to be able to share the gospel with them, the good news that we celebrate. There's nothing better. So let's share the gospel with the people around us, and let's take this time to work on our hand motions to be able to share the gospel well. Challenge for you that are doing really well with this is maybe turn around, don't face the screen, and try this to do the motions on your own from memory. Let's see if we can do this. Let's go right now. Hey guys, my name is Rachel and I am so excited to share with you today a gospel sharing tool that I have used all over the world to share with people who sometimes have never heard about Jesus before and have seen them come to faith. Um, from using this tool. So I wanna show you how to do it. And it's really important that we use our hands because it's easy for people to watch and to understand what we're saying about who Jesus is and what he did for us and why it's so important, okay? So I'm gonna go through one time and show you how to do it and then later we'll practice it together. So first, this is God. And God created everything in the world. And then God created people, his most special creation. And our relationship with God in the beginning was so good, it was perfect. We walked together, talked together, did all things together. But we know that things aren't like that anymore. And we know that people sinned, which means they disobeyed God, and so they fell away from God. But God loved us so much that He sent His Son Jesus down to earth to live a perfect life that we could not live and to eventually die on the cross, taking the punishment for the sin that we committed away from us. And then three days later, God brought him back to life. So we know that if we confess with our mouth, we say with our mouth and believe in our heart that Jesus is Lord and that God raised him from the dead, then our relationship with God can be put back together again, just like it was in the beginning. Okay? So I would love to do this together. So you gotta use your hands, that's the most important part, and it helps us remember if we do that together. So, in the beginning, there was God. And God created everything in the world. And then God created people. And we were his most special creation. And our relationship with God in the beginning was so good, it was perfect. And we would walk together, talk together, do all things together. But we know that things aren't like that anymore. And what happened? Well, people sinned, which means they disobeyed God, and so people go down. So people disobeyed God, and now we are apart from Him because of our sin. But, this is the awesome part, but God loved us so much that He sent His Son Jesus down to earth. 
And Jesus lived the life that we couldn't live. He lived a perfect life with no sin. And then He died on the cross. And when He did that, He took the punishment that we deserve for our sin away from us. And then three days later, God raised Him from the dead. So bring your arms up like this. And now we know that if we confess with our mouths and we believe in our heart that Jesus is Lord and God raised Him from the dead, like this, then our relationship with God can be put back together again. It can be perfect again, just like it was in the beginning. So we love this tool because it's super easy and you can use it in your classrooms, on the playground, with your family, um, to be able to tell them about who Jesus is and what He's done for us. So I really encourage you to practice this as many times as you can so that when you get the opportunity to share with someone for the first time, that you're ready. Wow, I learned so much from our lesson today. Me too. We heard about this good news that Jesus gave us. And just like Megan and Brant said, we have good news that we should definitely share with other people. That's exactly right. And it makes me think of the people that I know that don't know that good news. Maybe I should share with them. Yeah, that's a great idea. And actually, I think all of us should take some time today to write down the names of one or two people that we know in our lives who don't know Jesus so that we can plan to share the gospel with them. You know what? We can tell them the good news by using our gospel sharing tool that we've watched in our video. Absolutely. Well, guys, we have so enjoyed worshiping with you today, and we hope you have an amazing rest of your Easter. Did someone say Easter? Not again. Not again. Yeah, Jeremy, we were telling everyone uh, we were going to see them next week. Oh, okay. Well, I just wanted to say thank you guys for teaching me that Easter is not about bunnies and it's not about chocolate, but it's about celebrating our risen Savior, Jesus Christ. So, thanks. We'll see you later, later, kids. And make sure to eat lots of chocolate and carrots because they're good for your eyes. Uh, sure. And parents, don't forget to check out the Family Resource Center where you can find lots of ways that you and your kids can learn more about Jesus throughout the week. And remember that you and your family have many opportunities to serve in the community by going to nomorespectators.com. MH, MH Kids, you, you are sent out. out.